going back into Greece right now. I think, um, I don't know, I think they might have restricted our liberty again, but let me see. Or well, not let me see. But I don't know, that's what I just heard, but ever. I'm not positive yet. What to do? Shit, my bad. Goddamn watertight doors. But yeah, pulling back into Greece right now. I don't know if they are restricting our restricting our liberty again yet, but I don't know yet. But look, oh, I think we're. Oh no, we're not. I was gonna say we're about to pull into the Argonaut. Here, yeah, that's what Tony just said. It looked like we were, but I don't think so. Roommate, um, just asked him a couple questions about why he joined this crazy company. <laughs> There you go. Say your name. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's you, Jimenez, aka Jimbo, aka Billy Ho. AKA Speak Miklo, up. AKA Miklo from Blood In, Blood Out. Uh, I joined this company. <laughs> I think we had this interview too, or at least at Neo, uh, for the travel uh, to see the world on a tanker, and I can't see it, and uh, to make bread. Janitor who makes 80k a year, not nah, me. <laughs> That's what the senior chief told me. And uh, I used to be pissed about the F's in my high school, uh, controlling my liberty in my mind, but I'm over it now. My God, faithful host here. I'm just deflated and broken and uh, can't be bothered with any of this worse crap. October 23rd, I'm out. From Mexico. I know you're from Puerto Rican, bitch. This is the Argonaut right here. We're supposed to technically, not supposed to, but I'm normally pulling in right here. But they all have us. No, no, we don't. I don't fucking know, actually. I think this is the pier that we normally pull in. Or I normally pull in. If I'm not mistaken. But the pool is going to the fuel pier over here. Yo, so dead ass. If you're not vaccinated, don't join this job. I'm not vaccinated, and it sucks. Cause, and I don't plan on getting it, like y'all know. But they, uh, like you go, they make you go overseas, even though they say you technically can't go overseas. They make you go overseas anyways, and then you watching everybody go out, have fun, do their shit, and then you stuck at just the ship and the in the base, and um. I'm not how I was before. Before, I would have snuck off. I would have been like, fuck it, I'm doing what I want. You know what I'm saying? But now, I don't even want to do that because I don't want to fuck other people over. But you're missing out on a lot of shit. So I'm just saying, if you're not vaccinated, try to find a maritime job that's at home. You may not may be able to make as much, but you still will be making a pretty decent paycheck. I know hundreds of them are still hiring at home. And if you can find one that does not require the vaccine, great. If you have, uh, and if you can find one, if they don't require it, but they may limit you, don't take that shit. Fuck it, cause it's like watching all my friends have fun, do certain things. I'm like, damn, man, I want to have fun too. And before y'all get into like, oh, you just take the vaccine. Why don't you just take it? I don't fucking want to. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to do that to have freedom. That's the weirdest thing in the world. But anyways, I'm just FYI. I don't even know why I'm saying this, but yeah, man. If you <laughs> if you want to have fun, it's a cool job. If you obviously I have nothing against people that are vaccinated. It's a choice that y'all decided to make. And this is just a choice that I decided to make. But I'm just saying, like, for the ones that's like me that don't plan on getting it, and if you still happen to come out here, I don't even know if you can get hired at an MSC without it anymore. I don't know. But um, if you still plan on coming out here and you don't have it, do know that it does limit you a lot. You're not going to have the great experience that you want, that we all had before COVID. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to call it great, but it was a fun experience. You had fun out here. Pre-COVID, 
man this was especially out in here in europe greece italy spain having a ball you know what i'm saying but post covid they still have fun out here but you're not included you know what i'm saying so eh, it is what it is i ain't mad just just a heads up for everybody that does come out here and you plan on not getting vaccinated this is this is how the life is you know what i'm saying but such is life such is life and dead ass if literally if i had two more houses i would be doing whatever i want i'm like fuck y'all what y'all gonna do you know what i'm saying because i would already feel like i'm not saying once i have those two i would, I would i'm already made it but i'd be making enough to where i'm like you know what i can really do whatever i want right now i'm still gonna be paid you know but such is life it was just a little fi fy and uh this is way longer than I meant it to be. I love y'all. <laughs> U.S. Kanawa, Kanawa, U.S. and it's Kanawa. Yo, Kanawa, six. Block was about nine. Block was hot up in this bit. Coming in. Open your fucking door. We got liquor. Basically, something was like this. You come to my room, dude. He probably don't know what's going he on. He doesn't know what's going on at all. He's probably nodded out the whole time. are here and they're pulling the lines y'all can't see the rope but there's a rope attached to that and then there's a rope over there you might be able to see no I don't think you can see it there but we're getting pulled out so we can head out to sea it's gonna be a uh, it ain't really gonna be that bad of an underwear. I think it's like four or five days. And then we pulled into somewhere in Italy. I don't really be paying attention anymore since I can't really get off the ship as much. Or I can get off the ship, but I'm not really doing the things that I wanted to do. So I'm not really paying attention too much as far as where we're going, how long we're gonna be there. Cause it's all kind of the same. But yeah, we're about to go out to sea now and Gonna start this little adventure. This was a nice little break from like work, given I busted my ass trying to get all these uh, videos out to you guys. It was, it was hell, but finally when I figured it out, it was smooth sailing. But yeah, taking a nice little scenic real quick. I meant scenery. Definitely nice out here, or nice to look at, but, oh shit, it's loud. But yeah, freaking, um, about to get ready to get back to work. It's dark as dark, there you go. About to get ready to get back to work in a minute, and then uh, live life. Samuel, say what's up. What's up? It's my boy Peter Parker. Say what's up. <laughs> there you go. You said you only remember the three constellations? Yeah, just uh, Cassiopeia, Big Dipper, and Little Dipper. You think we'll be able to see it tonight? Probably, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we're going far out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder what we're going to do. Got a little schedule. I'm good. It's not that bad 
then by the time we finish the next port visit or not the next one then the one after that yeah i'm good i'll probably be out of here what's good black boy <laughs> hate watching it leave hate leaving port but such is life it used to be my favorite port when i was able to get off the ship goodbye suda bay or what is it Kanya or whatever the fuck it is going to the ocean well really we're going the opposite direction of this but because this is aft They're pulling us out our ass is going to go all the way over there then we're going to go this way it's a good day it feels really nice out like really really nice Man, I just wish I was able to get off the ship for a I mean, I got off the ship, but I wish I was able to go out. I wanted to show y'all Greece, like, for real. This was like, felt like I grew up here. This is stomping grounds type shit, you know what I'm saying? This is when I first was like, I started to be able to branch off, do my first dolo scene, like go out just me and, me and a homie. Instead of wanting to always be out in the big group, it was just me and a homie. We out and it had the most fun I've ever had it like since I sailed. That was 2017. Then I came back here, dolo or soloed myself. I just came out by myself and I had a crazy time. Like when you go out, if you come out to these ships, yes, have your group of friends. Yes, it's cool to have your group of friends and all that stuff. But find time to go out by yourself. Go meet the locals. Or go meet who don't even gotta be local, just go meet like people that's not on your ship. You can end up having a great time, have a very meaningful conversation with somebody you never you never would have met if you only hung out with your friends on the ship. So like that ass, do that. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying neglect your friends on the ship because then they'll feel some type of way. But like legit, go out by yourself sometimes, go have fun. Over here, try to just I don't really remember the names of everywhere, but over here, try to find different areas that you can go to that or go like off the beaten path type stuff. Don't just go to like American Alley. It's called American Alley because that's where all the Americans go. So don't go there, go somewhere else. Don't get me wrong, it's still fun there, but go somewhere else, hop in the taxi cab. Remember where you're at though, but hop in the taxi cab, be like, hey, take me to another city or something like that. It may be an hour away, you may have to take the next day off, but I'm telling you, it will be worth it. And this is wherever you go, you know what I'm saying? As long as it's plausible. If the next city is like four hours away, then obviously you can't do that. But if it's like an hour, 30 minutes away, yeah, okay, take a day off, go out, have fun, come back to work. I'm telling you, it would be worth it. That's what I was out here to do. I didn't do it as much. I started doing it near the end, but then COVID hit and that was it, you know? But yeah, enough of me talking. <laughs> I never get tired of this view. Like, ever. It is very beautiful. Be able to wake up to this every day. Imagine living on the houses over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, imagine living on the houses way over there. To have this view every day. Psh. Crazy, crazy. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Man. <sighs> but I'm probably gonna go back inside. Um, I'm sorry this is really all I can show y'all. Like, I genuinely am, am sorry for that because I wanted to be able to show y'all way more. I just didn't know it was gonna be like this for um, the non-vaxxed individual. So, hey, I hope y'all still fuck with me. I hope y'all still want to watch what, what I can show you. Because it may not always be this way. And I may be able to show y'all, like, what's really out here. Or y'all may have learned everything that I've taught y'all. And y'all come out here for yourselves. You know? So, really, I love y'all. I'm about to go inside and do a couple things. Deuces.
show you the awesomeness of this mountain like the video is not gonna do it justice and it goes way out there like and my android the camera is not gonna show it's not gonna do it justice like the mountains out here are crazy let me see if i can i'm gonna try to show y'all a little bit better hold up got this one and it goes all the way back there it's crazy and it goes even further beyond like you gotta remember or i sometimes always forget this isn't the area but greece is such a old 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 country and like some parts of it when you go around there you're like jesus this been here for like like eight nine hundred years you know what i'm saying and it'll say it won't say this the time or the year because obviously but it would you can tell by the what is it the text or the what the fuck is it called i don't even want to pretend I don't, I don't know how to explain but like some buildings will have it like the old buildings like if you like i said you would see it more in athens then you would see it here but when you go to the old old buildings like the sightseeing buildings you'll have the text like the ancient text up there um and it's just it's crazy it's crazy and i freaking love it like i love greece with all my heart I, I didn't get to go out this time but i love it with all my heart but the second place that i might love rome more man i really wish i was really into this youtube thing back then because when i was in rome that was content worthy like i'm then i'm not just doing that for the content but it's like that's the kind of stuff that i don't really have any records of it because i wasn't recording i have, to have like two or three pictures but i don't have much records of me being in rome and all that stuff yeah i can go back there again but that time like that first time seeing it like every country when you go go there for the first time you're like that glamour that you get you never get that again you know what i'm saying but i definitely recommend like not for youtube not for like clout or like instagram or anything just for yourself like when you go out record a bunch of stuff take a bunch of pictures like as much as you can like you're out here this is cool like take pictures everybody just wants to go drink do that yeah that's fun i love doing that but come out here and take the pictures because I'm telling you, when you look back, like me looking back just four years ago, was it for 2017, five years ago, me looking back five years ago, I wish I took way more pictures back then. Even when I was here in 2018, four years ago, I wish I took way more pictures than I did when I hit Rome, Croatia, and all those fun places. But I don't have any record of it. I have like three pictures for that whole tour. And we hit like Rome, Croatia, um, Athens like it was just a fun time and I don't have any record of it I have like I said maybe a couple pictures here and there but I don't have much so there's a little advice that I'm telling you guys this is a little longer than I wanted it to but uh, I love y'all Pilot is leaving. That's the one that well, y'all know what it is. Just in case somebody doesn't know, the pilot is the port. So when you pull into port, there's you don't really know these waters like the locals do. So the pilot is the one that'll come on board. He'll steer the ship for you. Um, just to pull into port, not so much to pull in, but to pull alongside. And when you're leaving out, he'll be the one to leave out. Because the notion is, yes, technically you can do it you're, if you're a captain, chief mate, whatever, navigator, whatever. You can technically do it, but they know the waters more than you do. They know where certain things are in the water. So that's why they come and do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, you could do it with practice, but that's what they come on. They always come on board the ships, and then they'll pull in a port for you. 
Um, but yeah.